Hi, John with eTrailer. Listen, if you're looking for an effective way to increase your comfort when you're traveling this summer, then check out the Kurt Air Ride fifth wheel pin box that we installed on our 2021 Highland Ridge Open Range fifth wheel. Now, right off the bat, I'll let you know that the Kurt here is going to replace your pin box. If it's a 1621 or a 1621 HD, this is going to be the replacement for you. If you're considering a replacement pin box, this really, uh, in my opinion, is the way to go. Um, immediately, you're going to see the air ride that's on it. There's a reason that over the road trucks um, are running air ride and not spring ride anymore. We're simply talking about comfort. So, this big double convoluted airbag on the inside of this is going to inflate. You've got your shock on the front that's going to keep it from bouncing up and down, but we're talking about reducing vibration, reducing wear and tear on your truck, uh, reducing the amount of chucking and jerking as you're going down the road. There is one, uh, one other plus side uh, to this as well. If you're looking to get um, additional clearance between the cab of your truck and the front of your camper, um, this is going to extend, in most instances, your clearance by an inch and a half. The stock uh, pin box that we took off measured out at 18 and a half inches. Uh, this one comes in uh, 20 inches and I'm measuring from the center of the front holes where it mounts to the center of the kingpin. Now operation and function is as simple as having a Schrader valve up on top here. We'll remove the cap. and. Our PSI range is anywhere from 20 to 120. Now, uh, how much air should you put in this? That's gonna depend a lot on your camper and a lot on the setup, air temperature, all of that stuff. But, Kurt has made it easy. On the front of your shock here, they're gonna have a line that's scribed. So we'll start adding air pressure. Now when you fill this up, um, it's good for, for anywhere up to 120 PSI. You'll see the bags inflate. And what we're looking for is a line that has been scribed into the bottom of the shock and when this top collar lines up with it, we'll know we're there. Once the air pressure is in here, this thing is going to be able to do its job like you're going to see on our test course. It's going to absorb the vibration, um, all of the bumps and jouncing that's going to go from the camper into your truck. It's saving you wear and tear. You want to see this thing in action, check it out. We're going to take it to the test course right now. So with Kurt's lineup, you actually do have a few choices. Uh, this is going to be right here in the middle with the air ride pin box. If you uh, aren't looking necessarily for air ride, you don't want to mess with the air. They do make a Rotaflex pin box, which is going to have a swiveling head on it right here. They also, uh, if you want to go a step up from here, they have a flex air pin box. It's going to be all of the features of this plus a pivoting head. As far as installation goes on this pin box, uh, I mean, Things you need to know that are quite obvious, it's heavy. So um, in the past, we've used forklifts. We've used uh, a bunch of people to lift it up. Uh, on this install, we went a little bit different. Uh, if you have a pickup truck, if you have a floor jack, check it out. It wasn't too bad. If you're good at unbolting bolts, there's 10 of them. You can get it installed. We'll show you right now. Since this is a replacement pin box, we've kind of rigged up. Uh, we need to get the old one off. And honestly, in the past, we've... Um, install these. If you have a forklift like we do here, that's great. That's the best way to do it. Um, I know a lot of people at home though don't have a forklift, so we've gotten a bunch of the guys together here before to install these and we and we lift them up and hold them up and look that's also pretty heavy. So today we've kind of rigged up a, a floor jack and just using the tailgate of my old truck here um, because if you are thinking of replacing this yourself, chances are you have a pickup and you probably have a floor jack. So I've just got it cinched up here with just some tie down straps strapped to it. Um, you're going to have 
depending on your on your pin box setup. We have 10 bolts total. We're going to have three in the front here, two in the back. I've already loosened them up. They're just in here loose. I've got some nuts holding this on just in case. Uh, we don't want anything to shift right now. And so we're going to take these out. Um, I have also have a pry bar that we're going to use for the setup and another type of pry bar we can slide through just to make sure that um, uh, nothing drops out of here. Now this unit is pretty heavy. It's not crazy heavy, but it's, but it's pretty heavy. Uh, to get it up onto the tailgate, you're probably going to need a couple of people. Uh, these are 15 16 on this and they probably are on your pin box as well. Now you want to hang on to your hardware and the washers um, because we're going to be reusing these to install the new one. So I've got the ones in the back out. It's a good idea to either put a bolt in like this or you can use your pry bar and slide it through to lock that in while you get the ones over here. Um, you don't have to disconnect your electric back here or anything like that. We're simply going to remove these and then lower this down. The pry bar is here in case we need to pry it out of here. Sometimes these sides will cinch up a little bit and it may not want to drop out right away. Okay, so we have all of our bolts out and we're going to lower the jack just a little bit here. So you can see we got movement here. Like I said, it's not, it's not light, but it's not so heavy that you can't manipulate it a little bit. So. We'll lower it some more. Just take your time. So just work both sides back and forth here. Ours is really tight. It's pinched in here. And then once it frees up, it's gonna, it'll drop on you. So just be aware. Ours is probably going to slide forward on this jack. You may want to reposition it. Okay, well, when we had the camera off, of course, is when it wanted to pop out and it slid off the jack here. But like I said, um, this is kind of the light end anyway. Your heavier end on your factory pin boxes will be up here where the king pin is. So. You know, just be aware, it's got some weight to it. With our old part out of the way, we can get our new part up on the tailgate here and get ready for installation. We've got the new pin box on the jack here. Um, like I said, we needed, uh, it was uh, myself and, uh, and some help. Uh, so two people, were, we were able to get this up here and then balance it on the jack here. Um, we're going to raise this end up. Uh, the old pin box, only had uh, two holes and then three on the other side. This is going to be four and four configuration. So in this instance, we're still going to bolt up um, in the existing spots where they had it bolted up, but we're going to make sure that, uh, that all four bolt holes here line up up here. So just take your time lining it up, make sure it's straight. You get a little bit more leeway once we have it in the sleeves here. It won't try to walk on you so much. We only need to get the back lined up and it'll make it a lot easier. Again, if you have a pry bar, it'll probably help to get it into position, but it looks like we're doing all right here. Right now we've got the holes here and when I'm going to make sure, yeah, we're good on both sides. So you can replace your hardware. You're going to use the existing. You're going to have one washer on the inside, one washer on the outside. And these don't have to be tight right now. So I've got a bolt in each side in the back here. So we just need to raise the front. I'm going to continue to jack the front of this up. Just use my pry bar on the hole below it here 
and wiggle that into, sp into the spot. And just replace your existing hardware on both sides and then torque those to the specs that you're going to find on your owner's manual of your camper. And that was a look at Kurt's Air Ride fifth wheel pin box on our 2021 Highland Ridge open range fifth wheel.